hello collective welcome back to the ascended divination priestess channel you are greatly appreciated and you are welcome back i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always i return to source i return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently i call in only the periods of white light okay Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, tried to steal from you, past, present, future, it is returned to you. Okay. As I have said, a so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and do our tea leaf oracle cards. I hope you all are doing well and staying blessed and highly favored because you always are. Okay. Oh, that was so. That was quick. Sources said, eh, you don't have to do anything else. I'm going to do a little something different today and pull these at the beginning, but I'll read it at the end. Okay. Our angel messages and uh, other um, oracle cards. Let's see what the message is. What's the advice from spirit today? Okay. While I'm doing this, um, Earlier this year, I had some type of uh, vision. There's a woman that is like, I don't know if she's gang affiliated or whatever this is. Or someone is like desperate out here. And I predicted this before earlier during the year. There's a woman that has gotten so desperate behind the scenes that she has turned to like gangsters. She has paid like, I think it's a, a, a crib, a crib member to do someone something to honor life another feminine energy in my vision what i saw was a fairly average sized man um he was in like some blue shorts and had like tattoos all over his body you know like the tight tattoos those brothers get you know, sisters get to kind of let us know that what gang they're a part of um this brother lord you may want to walk away because it's not gonna go like you think I know like some of you get into these families um, because, you know, a certain environments that you grew up in, you feel like you don't have a choice but to do that. And then sometimes you have kids that uh, they're just kind of naive. They see those kind of lifestyles and they think it's the, the bee's knees and it is it's something up notch. They want to be like these gangsters. You may want to walk away from this offer this woman is giving you because it's not going to turn out like you think it is. Okay, you're about to throw your life away. There's a reason why a woman is giving you an offer to unalive someone. Someone is already destined to go to the penitentiary. Like her future is over. There's no way around it. Okay, her future is over. She's going to lose everything. Someone may have been stealing behind the scenes. Someone could be like a false empress and she's desperate to block, I think, either her husband or boyfriend or someone from moving on. Um, so what she's doing is possibly threatening someone behind the scenes and telling them that if they leave, she's going to have the woman that he wants to go to worse on a life or something like that. There's something really malicious like that she's doing. But you as the, I'm gonna, and I'm going to say a crib member because I saw you in blue and your tattoos told me that you were a crib member. You may want to walk away from this one, okay? Um, and I'm not, you know, I'm, you know, I have a lot of common sense, but I'm not about to sit here and pretend like I'm street smart collective. Um, but I, what I do know about the gang life is that there are old school gangsters and there are new school gangsters. The old school gangsters they operate on principle. They don't just get out here and on a live people just because someone gives them money. They ask questions and things like that. Why? The, what the heck do you want this person on a live for? You seem to be someone very young minded. Um, from what I saw in my vision, you're like from the younger generations of creep and gangsters and things like that. So you may want to think twice. Okay, this is like I think this is supposed to be you. Um, but there's someone causing you some type of illusion. Why they want you to unalive someone is because they don't want a partner to go into some type of union with a feminine energy. They're trying to bring conflict to someone. Okay. They're upset because the truth is exposed about them and they're going through some type of tower. So you need to walk away. Okay. Because the moment you take action to go and do someone something, the police is going to be pulling up on you. And 
for her, I don't think you care if you talk if you snitch on her i know you all live by their call of not snitching but i don't think you give enough crap about this woman to not snitch on her and to tell the cops what it is that she hired you to do so you may want to walk away there's a woman out here that's like even thinking about pulling up on like an empress energy and she wants to put her in her place it's going to be the worst mistake you make in your life because as soon as you take action to pull up on uh an empress energy earth energy energies because uh honey them them healing hands is gonna do you something don't do it baby don't do it someone's someone's a healer in every way shape or form but you come towards them this is going to be you embarrassed out here because people are going to know that an empress, an uh, earth angel beat the living mess out of you. Okay? You better humble that self and walk away. This is a warning. I don't know who you're going towards. You don't know what it is this person can do. You don't know what someone is capable of. You're out here desperate to block a, a connection, an offer, or whatever. You're out here pissed off on just imbalance. But you want to do anything anything but come into that woman's energy to pick a fight you want to do anything but hire someone to take that person out it ain't gonna go in your favor and this is a warning for you i think you've already hired someone to creep walk into someone's home or apartment to unalive them and the moment he takes action to do something the, the police someone is being watched someone either already got arrested or that's what's going to happen when they take action to do something so you, you may want to think twice sir okay we got the tree out here uh this usually has to do with you being uh, uh um honored or something if something oh i'm sorry let me show you we got the tree that came out so typically the tree has to do with you receiving recognition and things like that uh you being held in some type of type of high regard right um, so this means that you're someone very skilled, someone very upright. Your character is genuine. You are straightforward. You are the truth. You may have a group of people behind the scenes that see the truth about you now that you are a healer. You are gifted. Um, you are someone that's essential to the world and things like that. You're very beneficial. There may even be like an emperor behind the scenes wishing that there were more people like you. Uh, there could be, what I picked up on is that there's a king of cups behind the scenes, um, that is is re that was recently within maybe the past year past year and a half that was initiated into an organization and when i say organization i mean like someone that was initiated into like a cult some type of institutional mindset right um and this man got carried away someone was like borderline gifted but not all the way there um, but he was initiated within the last year, year and a half into an institution and got carried away. It says like someone thought, um, they saw you, I think you're a feminine energy and you're heavily gifted. Like your mind, your, your eye is open 24 seven. Like you get downloads and the way you get them is ridiculous. Like you're out of this world, how gifted you are. And this man saw you, came across you somehow. I don't know if you two worked together, went to church together, had some type of relationship together, something of that nature. Um, but this man is intimidated by you and does not like the fact that you're more gifted or that you are content. So I'm being told that you're someone that's in like a knot of pentacles, knot of cups energy, knot of pentacles energy, or this is where you're headed and they don't want you in that energy. Is that someone is intimidated and bothered by you, but you don't even pay this person any mind. Someone may have been following you around, like when you move, change locations, change jobs and things like that. And someone is very, has been very determined to in you what he's doing because he's part because someone did go through an initiation and he thought it was wish fulfillment um but there's something that he didn't realize there's something that either thought this masculine and this is based on how these people operate within their institution their clothing um there's some type of old form of doing something like they've been doing this for a long time but they do it discreetly behind the scenes and they only do it when they have to this is not something they do on a regular so there's some old form of magic that they thought him and he has gone buck wild been practicing this magic without their permission this is like a member of the cult 
going haywire, thinking that they can do whatever they want because they are associated with an institution now. So they are invincible. They can move as they please. That's not true. There's an institution, even though a lot of the times these codes and covens, we find them to be repulsive. There are certain codes and covens that operate on principle and they don't just go after anyone. They don't just go destroying people's lives for no reason. What they do is they only react to people that do things to them. So if you do something to them, honey, they'll mirror your energy, but they'll take it up a notch. Okay. This masculine was initiated into something and I'm getting a King of Cups, King of Pentacles energy, right? He was initiated into something, got carried away because he saw you alone, you the uh, star sea, earth angel, baby, whatever you are, divine feminine. He saw you, you were alone and he assumed that because you were alone, it was easier to take you down. Uh, he didn't like the fact that you were powerful, you were content in life, not trying to be part of any type of institution. You didn't care to be initiated into anything. So he's been doing things behind the scenes without the permission of this institution to take you down. And everything he's been doing has been backfiring on them because what he's, he was initiated into this institution. So the institution is being held accountable for the actions of this King of Cups, King of Pentacles energy. And I picked up on this a while back. What's going to happen to him is that he's going to be let go from a position. And being let go from this position is going to start some type of domino effect with his life declining. So he's going to lose the job after he loses the job, his finances. And actually his finances are not where they're supposed to be or where they used to be. It's declining. It's being depleted. But it's going to get so bad. Someone may end up homeless on the street. Someone is about to go through like some type of either divorce or separation. Someone is about to lose everything. And this is because of who they came after. There are institutions out here as much as the work coats, covens and things like that turn us off. Not all of them just come out here being reckless. There are some of these institutions that operate on principle, but when you get into those institutions and they don't tell you that, hey, we don't do this, we don't do that, or you just assume that you can do whatever you want because you have some type of power backing you up now, it don't operate that way, okay? There are institutions that act from behind the scenes. So yeah, institutions that act from behind the scenes. And someone came in that institution and he thought, oh, well, you know what? I'm, I'm one of them now. I'm part of the family. I can do whatever I want. No. No, you cannot because there are institutions in here in the world that know that there are certain energies when it comes to like earth angels or uh, 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 volunteers from other planets, uh, whatever we want to call them that you are not supposed to tamper with. There are certain energies you just don't tamper with because when you do, it backfires really horribly. So they will be letting you go. Um, you're about to be out here possibly homeless and begging, okay? This could be even the people that you got to work with you. Someone may have been taking money out of his account to have strangers, friends, family members uh, bullying someone, stalking someone, causing endings and blockages in someone's life. Um, so you may want to thread with caution. I think I've warned you before on this platform or one of my other platforms that I used to have, but you've been determined to follow someone around and cause them ending. There's also another King of Cups that recently, I don't know if he recently was initiated as well and got carried away and someone is losing their stability. So yeah, you were recently initiated. You received some type of contract from an institution and you got carried away. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. There is some type of lie that has been taking place behind the scenes. People doing some type of ritual um, in order to make something go in their favor to block someone's wish fulfillment is absolutely going to be happening. What you all don't see is that someone will have wish fulfillment and they will be receiving some type of good news. Someone is healed. Someone has fulfilled their end of the bargain when it comes to their contract with the universe. Okay. They've invested everything they need to as far as time, energy, uh, time to learn. They've acquired all of the knowledge they're supposed to do when it comes to patience and things like that. So someone will be putting an end to a chapter. This is an impressed energy that is heavily gifted. Okay. There is something where people have been uh, uh, planning the ending of an impressed energy, but someone is heavily protected and you are being kept out of your energy and being warned to hold back because someone is self-sufficient. It will always be self-sufficient, uh, self-dependent and will always be protected 
by the universe. There is someone supporting someone from behind the scenes, supporting an, uh, uh, a feminine energy from behind the scenes that none of you are aware of possibly. And they will be coming in to make some type of offer to a feminine energy in order to help them move forward, give them options on how they can, you know, improve their lives and things like that. So this is a decision that's already been made for this offer to be given to this person. Whoever you are that's been determined to destroy someone from behind the scenes, you may want to hold back. Back off is what I'm tell, being told to tell you because it's like you're out in the cold or you don't know this is your future and that you could be working with a family or you, you and your partner, you and your family have been working really hard to defeat two people and block them from coming together because you know they're very abundant when they come together. Um, so you've been trying to, to do something either to end the feminine energy or even to end the masculine energy. And what you are going to have to do is go within. Nobody cares how how, how heartbroken you are. You need to see things from a higher perspective because every action you take is just leading to an ending for you. Okay. You've trapped yourself in some type of institution and you're out here wishing that you could be free. There is someone out here as well, a king of wands, and I keep picking up on your energy, right? You are someone that. You, I don't know if you're into like some type of ritual or you are someone that just did not see things clearly. You and a twin flame soulmate are mirroring the same energy and you want to come towards someone to balance something out. Now you see them as wish fulfillment after you rejected them or something. Someone does not want to be with you. They're holding back from you because they know what you did behind the scenes. They want or have asked for this chapter to be closed between you and them because they know exactly what you did. I don't think someone is angry with you but you can imagine if you collaborated with a group of people to end someone and then you want to communicate with them to tell them hey i want to work with you i know who you are now of course they're going to have their sword pulled out at you you are absolutely a king of wands and you did collaborate with a group of people to block someone's new beginning forward movement and things like that this is an empress energy and again she's showing up showing up as very intuitive and she knows that you all were planning to end her okay there's also a plot to end a king of cups and uh i don't know who this king of cups is this could be like a wife energy that's plotting to end a king of cups um this is like i'm seeing an older woman that's with a younger man and she's wanting to end him because he sees wish fulfillment somewhere else so maybe this is the woman that's hiring a gangsters behind the scenes to take someone out but this is a masculine who's younger than his wife and he feels trapped with this woman and is wishing to be somewhere else, possibly with a queen of swords that he sees, right? So he may want to go in and balance something out, but there is some type of plot against your life. It's like they're plotting to end you and plotting to end the person you're interested in. So there's something like that going on. This is just a little bit too much for me. Um, they don't want you to have some type of brand new passion and beginning together in life. A king of, it's like there's a king of wands that's interested in a woman. Then there's a king of cups that's interested in a woman. I think it's the same woman they're interested in, but they're both taking different actions behind the scenes to get into this woman's energy. And then you have a king of swords as well that wants to be in this woman's energy. I don't know what the heck this is collected i will be i will excuse me if i was you i would just let the universe guide me your ancestors are giving you messages and you need to pay attention because if you go with the wrong person you may end up in some type of self-imprisonment or some type of trap or bondage with one of these masculines or a couple of them there is a queen of wands you will be going to jail you're going through some type of tower for stealing the truth about you is revealed that you have been lying about an uh, earth angel right because they spoke the truth and brought clarity into a situation you may have stole some type of offer or some type of finance resource that was left from someone and you thought you were going to get away with it you're not getting away with it you are going to prison i know you went to from what i got the download on you you went to a high priestess or some type of practitioner to get confirmation because i think you watch my channel and something came up where you were told that you will be going to the penitentiary or you will be going through some type of ending so you went to a practitioner to get clarity and see if it's true that you will be getting locked up or you will be losing everything and what did they tell you darling what did they tell you i already know but what did they tell you yeah they confirmed it didn't they yeah your future is looking bleak you may want to run away or something this is what you're thinking about doing 
is fleeting the country, fleeting the uh, 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 the state that you are in, whatever this is. You want to flee and go start over somewhere brand new. Uh, you're being advised to hold back because it's not going to work in your favor. It's not going to work in your favor because at this point, it's too late. You are way down. You've done too much, right? You've been causing hindrances in someone else's success and things like that, blocking two people from coming together, lying and things like that. You are way down and it's too late for you to go on the run. Wherever you go, they're still going to find you. Your consequences will probably be worse. Let's say you leave from here and you go to like some type of South African or South American uh, country, go to India, wherever you go, they're going to find you and it's going to be worse for you there than it is here. Uh, some of the countries overseas, their prison systems are terrible. If you like want to know how terrible, look at like the prison prisons in Madagascar. Some of those are even the ones in South America, okay, Brazil, Chile, their prison systems are terrible. So you run there and you end up in prison in those countries, baby, it's a nightmare for you. So you may want to hold back, stay in the U.S. where you get those three meals a day. You get breakfast, lunch, and dinner, <clears throat> okay? Because over there, you got to pay for your, you got to provide your own food, if you don't got family in the country, well, you're just done. You'll be out there being a beggar, okay? Trap, begging for food, all kinds of stuff. Wishing that you have seen, you have seen things clearly instead of being, uh, 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 instead of being stupid and being stubborn and trapping yourself, thinking you are going to have some type of victory with a group of friends. No, you were not. The police is watching you, and the police is watching a queen of cups as well that you are trying to take down. So it ain't going to go for you like it, like you think it is. There could be like a masculine behind the scenes, like a king of swords that's protecting a queen of cups or something like that. I don't know who this is, and they may want to come in to give this woman some type of offer because they want to have victory with them and have some type of family dynamic. I don't know if it's going to go the way you think, but... Yeah, because this woman is going to have a hard time trusting you, King of Swords. It's like she already knows something you did behind the scenes. You participated in something. You caused this Empress energy quite a lot of loss, okay? So now you want to come in and give them some type of offer. And they are, uh, of course, understandably, they don't want to have any type of love interaction with you because you've caused someone a lot of losses and things like that. But when you see this person, they're still in this energy because someone knows their future, Okay, because this is a true empress. Okay, so yeah, they know their future is very abundant and they are protected. Whatever this empress is supposed to receive, Ace of Cups, Ace of uh, Pentacles energy, it is being protected heavily by the spirit realm. Someone's position is not going anywhere. Okay, someone's position in the spirit realm in life overall, their abundance, it is all protected, it is secure. Okay, it is going to be where it's supposed to be. No one's going to be able to take that away from them. So if you all have been out here blocking people's investments, their new beginnings and things like that, you are also always meant to because you didn't see the truth about the situation. You are under some type of delusional mindset that you are in charge. You control what people get. You control what people don't get, who someone can be. And you're finding out it's a disappointment. There is someone that's disappointed or a group of people, a family is what I'm getting. They are disappointed and losing their emotions behind the scenes because they plotted someone's ending, possibly a King of Cups ending, and the King of Cups sees right through them. Like he has foresight of what they've been planning, so he's holding back. They may have tried to poison this man, uh, hired someone to unalive this man, something like that, because he's wishing to be someone else and he has high, a higher understanding now, more than what he used to. Excuse me. Someone sees. Things from a higher perspective and the fact that he knows the truth now is weighing him down. So he may want to take some type of action to bring violence into a situation because this man is under some type of judgment by the spirit realm. Someone has had some type of epiphany that he's going through. His ancestors have woken him, woken him up, excuse me, and he's choosing to move on in order to balance things in his life. And he does want to communicate with someone, but he's a little hesitant. This is not someone you dated before. This is someone that you may have some type of soul contract track with but you have your sword pulled out at this person because you know exactly what they did so they may want to come in but they are hesitant going through some type of anxiety you and this person will meet in divine timing for some of you uh i don't know if this is someone you did it but 
you are familiar with this person on a soul level. So this is someone you have some type of past life connection with, right? There's a family wants you to meet and have some type of closure or whatever this is. There's a family that will be going through an ending. And I've told this family that before because I think there are members of a specific family uh, that watches this channel. And they, I've been saying it for a long time. Poverty is the road that lies ahead, okay? You all keep having these meetings and things like that. You need to have a meeting to put an end to planning these deaths for these star seeds because it's not going to go in your favor. You keep planning all of these meetings. You need to plan to put an end to this stuff because it's only going to cause hindrances for your organization, these star seeds will always be protected and having your fresh start because what? The most high has deemed it so. There's a king of wands I keep picking up on. I don't know if this is like a king of wands that's in his like Sagittarius energy or something. Someone wants to have some type of brand new passionate. Yeah, king of wands. He wants to have some type of brand new passionate beginning in life, a new start, right? This is absolutely a freaking Sagittarius may have a lot of emotions for someone so maybe taking some type of action right and there's some type of conflict going on behind the scenes it's like he's taking action to go towards someone but they're trying to block him from going towards someone and he he's determined right uh i don't know about this man there's something dark about this energy like someone is not healed there's some type of ulterior motive someone may have done something collaborated with an institution before to defeat you, right? But now he wants to come in and give you commitment because he thinks that's going to balance something out. I would not entertain this masculine. Do not. Because he's going through some type of ending. It's like everything his t he touches now is turning to dust. There was a time in this man's life where everything he, everything he touched turned to gold. But he's having a hard time manifesting all of his projects, his uh efforts his investments are falling apart and that's because of the people he invested in someone is going to go have to go through some type of rebirth if he wants to have a happy home happy relationship with someone i don't know if it's going to be you collective but if he wants to have a happy relationship he's going to ha have to actually do the work someone is not able to come in and pull a pull wool a pull pull one over your head pull a wool over your head because you're going to hold back from this person um and you don't care if you two have some type of past life connections as all uh, as at all you're like i'm done i'm done you put a dead to this situation and you're moving on and what i'm actually getting is that a king of wands wants to come in to trick you make it seem like he's invested in working with you just so he can disappoint you you put in all of your energy give to them and stuff like that and then what they're going to do is end up disappointing you because now they know that you are the truth energy truth energy the true energy true empress they want to come towards you not to make you an offer after they decided to go with some type of jizzy bell energy and this is the kind of offer he's coming in with he said, oh, you know, I just want us, to, want us to start off as friends. You know what it is. I just want us to start off as friends and we can grow gradually. This is not someone that's like into friendships. This is someone who, when he gets with you, he wants to sleep with you the same night. Someone's very impulsive. Someone's pack pack has been given to everybody in. Everybody he can. I'm telling you, this is a Sagittarius. He may be going through some type of healing, but his pack pack has been given to a whole lot of women. And I just heard men, I don't know what that is. I don't want to get into that, okay? But someone is realizing he invested in the wrong things. He did not see the truth before with his moon out here. He was misled. Uh, he didn't know he was going down the wrong path. He thought he was receiving wish fulfillment by partnering up with an organization or a, a, a feminine energy, a group of people. He didn't pay attention. He didn't listen to his institute. Inst yeah, okay, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Yeah, this is an institution this man is trapped in. And with a karmic feminine. He did not listen to his intuition. And now it has come back to bite him. He may have invested everything into this institution. And now it's filled with nothing but disappointments. And he wants to get out. It's too late. He can't. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's too late. He partnered up with a karmic Queen of Wands. Oh, that is the God's honest truth. He partnered up with a karmic Queen of Wands. 
And this woman wants to fight someone out here. She wants him to see that she is the actual Empress energy. She's the true queen of wands. Someone is nothing but a karm. If karmic was a 3D character, this would be her. Okay. Um, this man is disappointed because he did not invest in you. He did not partner up with you because you are an Empress energy. So you're going to show up in all of your different energies in this, in this reading when you do show up. Um, he's disappointed because he did not partner up with you. He instead put an end to something before it even began, which means he put an end to the possibility of you and this and you and him coming together. And now that things are going haywire between him and the Empress that he picked, the Empress, the Queen of Wands that he picked, things are not going too well. What he didn't see is that there was someone paying for rituals behind the scenes to have him trapped to prevent balance from being brought into a situation so the situation so that he would not commit to you this is a whole a whole institution that was working with a woman behind the scenes to defeat him and now they're all fighting behind the scenes because what he's standing his ground about giving you this offer co uh, collective and he's taking action okay he really does want a new beginning and he has made a choice in love but the truth is this man is going through an ending and he is i don't know if this is just him or this is a group they are absolutely plotting a king of cups energy ending like they they want to they want to take this man out and i don't know if maybe this is the king of wands showing up in his king of cups energy as well because he has a lot of compassion and a lot of love for you so they want to take him out yeah they want to take him out because he sees the truth now. So he wants to give you an offer. He's being practical about the situation now, but the time for practicality has kind of passed. Um, he's being practical now because he's lost a lot of money. I don't know if someone was recklessly spending or investing in an institution, uh, giving money to a group of people and it has turned. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was reckless. And now he's out here maybe embarrassed, disappointed, living in fear. You know, maybe he has a little bit of money left and he's trying to protect it. There's something like that going on. A masculine invested in the wrong thing. There's a queen of pentacles behind the scenes that is also living in fear. Her money is looking funny. So she may be trying now to hold on to the last bit of money that she has. Right. So I don't know what this is, but all of these people are going through some type of stagnation and blockages behind the scenes. Okay. This group may have thought that they were going to get wish fulfillment over someone. They were going to defeat you and be able to steal what belongs to you. It's not going that way. I think it was, there was a setup where they were supposed to come in and defeat you, the whole group, but you've defeated this whole group. <laughs> <laughs> You have defeated this whole group by just speaking your truth. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm trying to show you all the five of wands out here. Yeah, the whole group is defeated. Because you spoke your truth, you may have defended yourself. Yeah, you defended yourself. You spoke the truth. And it's put into rest a whole community. There could be a king of... I don't know who this king of cups is. But you may want to back off of something because you're about to lose everything. Everything? Everything. I don't know how dumb you got to be to be taking money out of your, your bank account, to be paying people, to bully someone, to hinder someone's pathway. This is like one of those situations. You ever watched a movie where it's like everyone has a target they all come after the target, but no one gets the target, okay? And someone, and they all know, you know what? We're just going to leave this person alone. They're not bothering us. We're not going to bother them. We're all just going to coexist. You know, they do their thing. We do our things. They're not coming into our territory. We won't go into their territory. But then, you know, they go and initiate a newcomer, and the newcomer puts his eyes on you, puts her eyes on you, and he starts, you know, tempering with you, asking questions and things like that. And they tell him, hey, no, 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 leave her alone. We don't mess with her. She don't mess with us. We don't mess with him. He don't mess with us. Leave them alone. Okay. 
um, but he still wants to keep going. This is something like that. So it pisses him off because no one is bothering you. You're by yourself. And he said, how is this person by themselves? And we are in a group or we can't take them down. So he goes behind their back. Now he's going to go on a solo mission to take someone down, destroy their life and things like that. So he starts bribing other people that maybe he used to work with, families and friends and things like that to come and hinder you, cause you blockages and laws. And the whole time, the institution that initiated him told him to leave you alone, but he kept going, bribing people to do you something. And now it has backfired on him. Like someone is about to lose everything 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 yeah and he's yeah and he's way down he's about to lose everything everything there's a group of friends a community that's losing a lot losing a lot okay they've been out here monitoring you all i don't know what i'm trying to figure it out but whatever this group has been doing it's all an illusion for them because they thought they had some type of victory over someone and they were pissed off because the truth was revealed about the actions they were taking behind the scenes to cause conflict in a high priestess's energy. But there is a king of swords behind the scenes that's intuitively gifted as well, may have went to a high priestess to find the truth out, Okay. There's also a freaking king of swords. I don't know if this man is trapped. These people energies are really way, weighing me down. I can't, I can't. There's a king of swords that may, may have formed some type of alliance with a group of people. And it's not going the way he thought. I don't know if this is someone they hired. Uh, maybe someone told a lot of lies to a group of people as well there's just something it's a whole lot of lies going on it's like the reason why someone or a group of people are doing something is based off of a lie there's no truth to it and their energy is so freaking ugh, yuck yeah there's a queen of pentacles honey you ain't doing too well you ain't doing too well you're going through an ending and your friends are out here celebrating your ending I don't know how bad you got to be. There's a thing where they were all plotting an ending for an uh, Empress energy that is in their Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, uh, uh, Queen of Cups energy. They were plotting her ending. They were celebrating. Yes, 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 yes. We're going to get it done. We are going to get it done. And then what happened to them? They took action. Oh, they took action to come and do someone something, lay someone out, lay someone down. It led to nothing but conflict for them. Okay, so they're going to have to go to the drawing board is that they are all trying to figure out how they can cause hindrances to your commitment, to your success, to weigh you down. But you're going to be successful. You and whoever you're supposed to meet, be meeting with in divine timing, you will be meeting with. And this, meet, this reading is a little bit too like, like the energy is just too negative because there's so much people. It's so many people behind the scenes that just they're. Their energy is just so negative and it's all coming out. Oh, let me fan myself. Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh, Lord, I was fanning myself with the devil. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's go with the hermit. Clear out that energy. <laughs> Clear out that energy. <laughs> There's, I don't know who this is, if this is someone's wife, girlfriend, but there is someone plotting. Like she's plotting on how she can end someone. How she can destroy someone, temper with someone's energy, have someone living in fear, blockages, like she's plotting. And it's only going to backfire on her because whoever she's plotting against, this is their energy. They're going to have a victory. And her, as soon as she thinks she has successfully destroyed someone, what is going to happen? A tower. It's a tower for a whole family. It's a tower for a whole family and they won't, they're going to be down and they won't be able to get back up. This chapter is going to be open. So let her go ahead and keep planning and take that action. She's going to take again, whatever action you take is going to lead to an end of a cycle. I think this cycle is actually over, but someone's trying to drag it out. 
Yeah, they're living in fear. This Queen of Pentacles is living in fear. She said, any day now, but you may want to hold back because your money keeps decreasing every day you show up in this reading. You don't want from the Ten of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. That's alarming. And you're still, yeah, you're still set on going. You're still set on coming into someone's energy or hiring someone, paying someone to come and weigh someone down. I don't know if you hire like a hitman in the justice system or something like that, but you're trying to weigh someone down and you're weighed down. You have a lot of burdens on your head, trying to cause someone difficulties and things like that. So if you're the one plotting to go into someone's energy to uh, do them something, like throw hands, honey, them healing hands from that earth angel, it's going to humble you real quick. It's going to be that, 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 that those, those are some of those people, like she knows what you're plotting too. Those are some of those people, they'll, they'll dust you real good and then they help you get off the ground. Say, you good? You sure? Can I, can I get you anything? Yeah, this is going to be you. Like this woman knows what you're plotting for her. She knows. And the moment you come into this woman's energy, honey, you're going to be humble. She's going to do, oh, you're going to be way down. You won't even know what hit you. This is you coming in fast. And then all of a sudden, okay, you won't know what hit you. Sister said you can catch these hands spiritually or physically. They don't care. Spiritually or physically. Spiritually or physically. She said you can catch these hands. Someone don't care. They're going to defend themselves. So you can keep sneaking around all you want. Manipulating all you want. Cause all the illusions you want. But someone knows the truth about you. Okay? And that bothers you. you, you you've been able to fool other people around you. But when someone sees you. Listen, you're out here thinking you're about to defeat someone. You say, if nobody can get it done, I'll go get it done. Come on in and see what's going to happen to you. That woman is going to humble you. And then after that, you're going to get arrested and end up <laughs> locked up, jail. And you're going to be losing the rest of the little bit of money you have left. Baby, you, you may want to hold back. I think you're someone that goes to practitioners. You want to know the truth and they don't told you the truth. Someone is going to be abundant in life. You're not able to, you're not going to be able to steal from someone. You're already defeated before you even take action. Again, it's coming out. It's coming out. This whole family. Okay. This whole family is going to be disappointed. Your whole family out here bribing people, paying. You know what the heck is this mess? Would you? <sighs> I can't, I can't, mm. yeah, you were planning to take, listen, I'd say a joke, but I won't say a lie, you are planning to come in and pick a fight with a queen of cups, and because you see this person as a queen of cups, you think that you are going to be victorious, maybe you and your girls are going to get together, you say, we're going to take her out, so you think you're going to sneak, you're going to be disappointed, okay, <laughs> You say, you know what? Let's all go together. Okay? Let's all go together. We'll take her all at once. Okay, we're going to jump her. How dumb do you got to be at your age? Because you went in your 20s. you like in 30s, 40s, or 50s out here still wanting to fight. But that, that, that Empress, Darcy, Earth, Angel, hunting Queen of Cups, she said, come on in. I got a gift for you. <laughs> I've got a gift for you. You can catch these hands physically or spiritually. <laughs> How do you want it? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh, baby, she's going to be out here. Baby, do not go towards this woman. This is a warning for you. Do not. Uh, do not go towards this woman. Ain't nobody coming with you because the whole community don't even want to work with you. You may be going through some type of divorce. You're losing some type of job or contract. Do not go towards this woman because you're going to cause more burdens for yourself for trying to sneak attack this person. You're going to cause yourself more burdens. There's a queen of cups out here and I picked up on this woman yesterday. Someone shows up. In this energy, people see this Queen of Cups as this energy here. Where she is, there's a secret people don't know. 
there is something you don't know. Throw it with caution. Hold back, Queen of Pentacles. Hold back. You better hold back. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself. You've been lying about a Queen of Queen of Cups, Empress Energy, Earth Angel, whatever stars. You've been lying, and all the lies are out, and you're afraid for more lies to come. Okay. You got your girls. They feel like they can come in and take take a a a. a a uh, 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 queen of cups down. Listen, what is this? This is her handing you an ass whooping. <laughs> if it was before her, then that would be you doing it. But it's coming after her, meaning she's the one knocking you the F out. This woman don't care. You you see someone's energy as a queen of cups, but you come in to temper with that person, honey, this is going to... And this will be you afterwards. Mm. you won't even know what hit you she said how do you want it we can do it any kind of way you got options you got options on how you can get this whooping because when someone is done doing you physically they're going to come for you spiritually okay because someone is backed up spiritually so when they're done with you on the physical realm oh here she comes Oh, you thought it was over? No, 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 no. Nah, it ain't over. And then there you go. <laughs> That's why you all, y'all be out here playing in people's energy, don't even know what you're playing with. You see someone in the Queen of Cups, and because they let things go, they don't react like the rest of you emotionally imbalanced and mentally imbalanced heifers out here because they don't, they're not out here throwing temper tantrums when things don't go their way. They're not angry. They're self, -con they're content with themselves. You think, oh, it's the queen of cups. We can go and take them out. Go to that queen of, queen of cups and see what's going to happen. Surprise, surprise. It's not as easy as you think it is. You're out here fighting the whole masculine to block him from moving forward. And you're all going through endings. Tumble. If you go to her, I'm going to have her on a live. You come to this woman, she's going to handle you, and that's going to be justice. That's going to be the balance that, that needs to be brought into the situation. And when it's done, you're going to be walking around looking a fool, and everybody's going to see you for the idiot that you are. They say, oh, ha, that's the one that got beat up by that earth, earth angel. Yep. <laughs> Your whole community is going to be laughing at you. Is that Elizabeth? She got beat up at the Earth Angel. Look at her. Damn, that black eye don't look like it's going to heal anytime soon. <laughs> Injustice. <laughs> yeah. And that Earth Angel is going to be sitting somewhere enjoying their life. The whole community is way down. They don't know what to do. You're way down. Don't know what to do. Baby, I don't care about all this mess. What the heck is this? Coming in to do something to a queen of cups because you see them by themselves and you're intimidated because what? Yeah, because someone wants to work with them. Someone wants to communicate with them. Look at that. You're picking a fight. This is you and your friends. You've come, come up with a clever way on how to knock someone down. You're coming in real quick to end this person. There to go ending you. And then whoever you're trying to block. It's still going to be communicating with them. Say, hey, I see you as wish fulfillment. I would like to be to get married to you. I see you as an empress energy. I know the truth now. So you did all that for nothing. You don't spend a lot of money hiring people. You said, I'm going to do this from behind the scenes. I don't want to get my hands dirty. So I'm going to pay all these people to do my dirty work. And then you've paid enough people that nothing is still getting done. So you said, I'm going to do it myself. Because what? What, the, what what does old wisdom say? You want something done right? You want you gotta what? <laughs> you gotta do it yourself. But this uh, empress sees you a mile away, and they have clarity on your whole family and what you've been doing behind the scenes, paying people right to weigh this woman down, and she sees that. So even though this is an empress energy, and they are hue and balanced, they have no issue stepping into their emperor energy to handle business. Okay. And that's the God's honest truth. They got no issue stepping into energy of the emperor to handle business. And they will be successful. You're lying to yourself. You better sit, sit down at your ripe old age like myself here. 
You know, when we get to a certain age, our bones don't be healing like it's supposed to. You know, we wake up, turn our head and our neck. We got a crank in our neck. It's a, oh, all I did was breathe. <laughs> and now my neck is hurting. But you want to be out here fighting at your age. Girl, you better sit in. I'm telling you, you better sit down because you ain't seeing things clearly. It's not going to go in your favor. Sit down. You better protect your bones. Protect your joints. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, baby. There's you as the queen of pentacles and there's the actual queen of pentacles that people see the truth about. And you're wasting your time coming into this woman's energy to do them something. Because the sister's going to drag you. Like those girls used to do back home in Liberia when I was growing up. Liberian women, Lord have mercy. When we... When we fight, it's that we we black out. And when we black out, it's not safe for you. I remember when I was growing up in Liberia, honey, them 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 all the girls when they would start fighting, baby, they will keep going till someone was bloody. Oh my lord. They will be like you will go in a fight with a hundred braids, and when you come out of that fight, you may have maybe ten braids left. That's how bad it was. So there's a star seed out here that they don't mind. <laughs> they don't mind entertaining this side of themselves. It said, like, you you want to play? Okay, let's play. You want to play with the big boys? Bum bum. Okay. You're out here trying to defeat a king of cups because he wants to bring balance into his life. There's a king of cups behind the scenes. You, the new initiate, you may want to hold back. Stop hiring these idiots. Okay? Because everything you do is being seen. I told you that woman sees you, right? Miss Queen of Pentacles coming in to fight. Or whoever you are. I told you that woman sees you. As soon as you come, you're hoping that someone will leave their house. And then you'll be out there while waiting for them. And she's ready for you. Oh, honey, she's ready for you. She's ready for you. She said, I got options. Which would you like? You got options on how you can catch these hands. Catch me outside. Catch me inside. Yeah, and this is about to be you. This is about to be you. It came out again. There's an emperor behind the scenes that does not play about whoever you are coming towards. So if he gets wind that you're trying to come towards someone, uh-huh, to do them something. Oh, this man already chose this woman as his, part, as his partner. Oh, baby. This man, all he does is think about this woman 24-7. He don't already choose her because he loves how strong she is, how open-minded and abundant he is. This man dreams about this woman. Honey. Mm. And then you have another knucklehead of an emperor behind the scenes daydreaming on how he can defeat a feminine energy. Sir, we need you to sit back and think about that. You're wondering how you can defeat a woman. Okay. You obviously are not the brightest crayon in the box coming after a woman. Yeah, you're coming after a woman. You want to destroy someone's uh, independence, their resources, and every bit of it is protected by the spirit around their ancestors are protecting them. They say, you ain't getting nothing from our daughter. You ain't getting nothing from whoever this is. It's all protected. You're under judgment yourself. They are protecting someone's work, and they are protecting the king of cups that people are trying to destroy as well. This person is heavily abundant, limitless, and they found their strength to go within right to make a decision and become an emperor in their life and they are absolutely determined to defeat you all okay there's a lot of masculines in the background is what i'm picking up on if you are a king of cups and you know you've been out here doing bs this ain't you if you are an emperor out here knowing that you've been trying to de defeat a feminine energy baby it ain't no success in your future you don't block your whole destiny and your children's and grandchildren's destiny. Okay? There's a distorted masculine. Listen, I said distorted masculine and the king of wands came out. 
There's a distorted masculine that wants to take action to come towards a feminine energy or a, a healer to make them some type of false offer. Distorted masculine, distorted masculine. Where are you headed? Hopefully not towards our earth angel. Now you can huff and you can puff and you can sit your behind down because you are where you need to be with the distorted feminine. You match each other's vibe. This man wants to have victory with someone after he don't cause a tower in your life. He's going through a tower as well. Someone needs to heal before they can be around you. Okay. Yeah. He needs to heal before he can have a brain. You start with you. But he, he's busy going through emotions behind the scenes. Cry. Someone is crying behind the scenes. He betrayed you heavily. So he's wary about even coming towards you to make you an offer because he knows you're self-sufficient. You're like, you know what? No one wants to help me. I figure it out myself. The universe, is, yeah, the universe is supporting me. And you, all, and you know the universe will always bring balance into a situation for you. There could be a king of swords behind the scenes that now wants to have a family with someone that he was trying to destroy before. So basically it's that all the masculines in this situation, they were all trying to destroy a feminine energy before. But now that the truth is exposed and they know that who they were trying to destroy is an actual Empress energy, an actual healer. Oh, now they want to switch teams and come in. Hey, I see you as wish fulfillment. I don't know what the heck was wrong with me. So you got someone out here wanting to apologize about what they invested in when it came to causing you disappointment, betraying your connection and things like that, bribing people out here. Uh, accepting uh, 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 offers and things like that from people, i.e. Queen of Pentacles and someone else to come in and do you something or to block your forward movement and your resources, steal your resources. So they want to come in and apologize now. And they are living in fear about coming towards you. These are people that are into rituals. They've been carrying this out for a long time. They said, we're going to block you, your work. Anyone gives you a job, we're going to reach out to them and tell you not to hire, tell them not to hire you. Uh, if they hire you, we're going to try to convince them to fire you. Okay, baby. <laughs> Anyone want to be in a relationship with you? We're going to tell them you got something you're going to give to them if they get in a relationship with you so they can hold back from you. Uh, you're going to tell them that you are reckless with your body. You sell yourself online and this and that. Oh, baby, they've been busy out here with a lot of you starseeds, but ain't nothing holding because the universe has been protecting you from all of this slender. The only people that believe things like that are the people that don't have two senses to put together. Two senses to rub together. You know, like when a broke person like myself don't got two coins to rub together. They don't got two senses to rub together to think for themselves. So anyone can come in and tell them, hey, that empress is not an empress. That's a ho, ho, ho. And they say, oh, or someone can tell them, hey, this empress did something to me. And they all gather up the truth. They say, we're going to go take that empress out. She messed with one of ours, only for them to find out you didn't do nothing to anyone. You've been minding your damn mother effing business. Don't know what's going on in anybody's life. Don't care what's going on in anybody's lives. And now they've come after you for so long. They're facing issues behind the scenes. People getting arrested. People losing their jobs. Relationships are, separate, are coming to an end. People losing family members and things like that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What did you think was going to happen? So now they're, they're hoping what, the, what their true desires is that they can come in and give you something to balance the situation. Now you say, you know what? Hmm. I, effed, I, I, I don't fuck up so bad. I messed a real bad coming after you. Participating in these rituals and things like that. Here's $25. That's because he only got like $100 left. Here's $25 to balance things out for you. And you're like, $25, sir. I can't even buy a four-course meal with that at McDonald's. What is that supposed to do for me? Huh? Oh, okay. So, and the whole reason, why did these people come after you? One, jealousy. There are people in here that want to be you collective. There's a woman in here. Oh, she cannot stand you, but will die to be you. <laughs> yeah. 
She will die to be you. She and her little friend has been working together to cloud a masculine uh, mentor about you. That woman said she don't like you, but she will die to be you any day of the week. She said, that Empress got it going on, but I don't like her because I can't be her. Uh, so they've been working real hard to destroy. You know, they all came together. Say, let's come together. We form an alliance. We're going to come and destroy this woman here. She got too much going on. Someone should not be that self-sufficient. Someone should not be that strong. Okay? We're going to go in and destroy them. And there's a whole emperor behind the scenes just waiting. It's like, I wish a mother ever would. Now that I know the truth, oh, I wish you would. Mm -hmm. Ain't it funny how life works? You got people that will invest their whole life, life's worth, money, everything, energy, into destroying people. If only you all will invest that amount of energy and money into yourself. Oh, how abundant you will be. Oh, how abundant you will be. Can you imagine all the energy you all use? Uh, use to try to tear other people down. If you flip that into positive energy and invested it into yourself. Oh, baby. Do you know how abundant you all will be? How happy? Someone is a happiness hater in this community. It's, I don't care about no happiness, about healing and stuff. This is a feminine energy. Someone is a lost cause. I don't care about no happiness and healing. Nobody give a F. That's what she, someone is really reckless with their mouth. Every other word is a B. It's a F, a mother effer. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Listen to them when they speak. But again... There's someone that pretends to be something she's not when she watches this video. She's going to go to work all of a sudden. She doesn't curse anymore. Ay! <laughs> Let's do our Oracle card reading, people. It says open doors. Look at that. You have many options. So take your time to choose what's right. Making plans. Collective. Look at you. Look at, look at, look at it. You got options. Just like that karmic woman has options on how she can catch those hands. <laughs> You want it physically or spiritually? Which one would you like? You know what? I'll be generous today. We'll give you both. Let's handle this right here, physically, and then tonight, I'll see you in the dream state. Who's <laughs> 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 that? You know what? Yeah, let's handle this. You think you, you let's handle this right now? You think you're about to sneak up? You're gonna come in quick, and you're, someone that's not is not gonna expect you. Oh nah, these empresses, starsees, they're always ready. You're an idiot if you think you're gonna pull up on someone and they don't know you're coming. So she said, you know what? Let's take care of business in the physical first. Tonight, I see you. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Astro projection, <laughs> astro traveling. <laughs> so you can catch these hands, okay? Astro projection, you can catch these hands. And then tonight, whoosh. Hello, Elizabeth. Uh, are you ready? <laughs> After you astro project into their rooms, <laughs> bum, 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 bum. get up, it's time. <laughs> It said, pick your path, okay? Live authentically and be fulfilled on your own terms. Be true to yourself, okay? Collective, thank you. Some people struggle with that. That's why they got to copy other people here behind the scenes. It's that she, you know, the part that pissed me off sometimes, you know, they'll, they'll be copying you, but then they'll tell the whole community, she's copying me. Meanwhile, you don't even know who this person is or you're not even around them. Don't know nothing about what they have going on. But they're out here saying that you are pretending to be them. They thought you everything. And you're like, you thought me what? You're karmic. I'm off the light. How did you teach me anything? Oh, you thought you pretended enough for people to believe that you were me? Ah, okay. So now I'm the... I'm the karma. Listen, my ancestor don't even want it to come out. I was about to say, so now I'm the karma. They said, oh, hold, uh-uh. You ain't no karmic. <laughs> yeah. They said, as soon as you come out that house collective, it's going to be there for you. 
said, hey, 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 you've been talking too much, Mac, okay? Hey, 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 I need this man to believe I'm his true twin flame. So, ba 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 they're about to put them hands on you, but then surprise, surprise, you go there. <laughs> After you don't hand it her that, ooh, baby. You know it's real embarrassing when someone gives you a beat down and then they help you get off the get off the ground. I'm talking about you okay? Let me fix your shirt. Okay, let me fix your shirt. You okay? Okay, you okay. You okay, you'll be okay. Just you know, lay lay on that, you know, bed that they bring the, the, the paramedics bring with just lay on there, get some rest, drink some water. I think they have water in those uh ambulances. Ask them for some water, okay? It'll calm your heart rate down. Okay, and get you back to normal. Just give it a few minutes. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Don't worry. Okay? Anyways, Collected, that's enough humor for today. I'll see you in my next reading. Thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Princess channel. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.